Hey guys and welcome to another episode of South African Craft Beer Tasting. Alright, um, today we've got a really special one. We had Beer House in Four Ways once again for a release of um, another great Devil's Peak, uh, Peak collaboration. Uh, this time we've got none other than Michaela and it's called Copenhagen. So obviously mixing, you know, the, the, the capital of Denmark, or at least I think it's the capital, Copenhagen. Uh, with you know Cape Town where Devil's Peak is from such a cool idea love the can it's got that Mikela style everybody's raving about these guys beers and I've been dying to try one and uh, how better to try it than with a collab with one of my favorite or if not my favorite brewers uh, in South Africa Devil's Peak all right let's talk about it a little bit um, it's uh, it's basically it's a New England uh, style uh, pale ale uh, a New England style India pale ale and uh, that means you're gonna expect that hazy look and whatnot. But what's really, really, really exciting about this beer is that they've gone ahead and put Southern Passion and African Queen hops. So instead of using your citrus and your mosaics that you'd usually expect inside a, a, a New England style India Pale Ale, um, they're gonna use local South African hops. And if I, I can't tell you how excited I am about just that one fact. And I've got to say to Devil's Peak and Michaela that if I go to my local brew shop and uh, those two hops are sold out, I'm going to blame you guys because it's going to be a big popular thing now. Um, <clears throat> at least for guys like me that would like to bring down the cost of doing a New England style uh, India Pale Ale and uh, now using local hops, if these guys nail it and they get it right, it could be really, really exciting for everybody that brews. Um, yeah, and what's really cool, they've got this little flyer uh, that they... Uh, that they give you with the beer here. Uh, just telling you a bit about Mikella, a bit about uh, Devil's Peak, and yeah, how they got together with the collaboration. Uh, they talk about it a little bit. They say punchy aromatics from a combination of uh, South African and American hops. So there is a little bit of American hops in here. I don't think they say which ones. I know there's African Queen and Southern Passion. They say orange, juicy orange and citrus with refreshing hoppiness and medium low bitterness, dank with a smooth and luscious mouthfeel. Um, <clears throat> and again, guys, this is a limited edition can. Really cool. <clears throat> I got my press drop this morning, so I've got one sitting in the fridge for a special occasion. But I'm going to really enjoy this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it, and then we'll see what we think about the aroma. Okay, guys, um, I've gone ahead and poured it. And it's exactly what I'd expect from a New England uh, India Pale Ale at uh, any IPA. Look at that. Just look at that. I'm going to try to get a little bit of contrast with the light. Let's see if I can get that going. There we go. Look at that. That is exactly what you want. You can't see through it. It's got this almost perfect orange, orange juice look. And I know some guys aren't a big fan of the haze, but I'm such a big fan of this New England uh, haze craze at the moment. I just can't help myself. I went and brewed myself, bought a whole bunch of mosaic hops and brewed myself a, a New England style pear ale. I didn't get it quite like the Juicy Lucy. I wish I did. Um, I'm still working on that. I'm going to keep tweaking my recipe till I've, I've got something that I'm pleased with. Um, but yeah, basically just to explain that I'm a huge, huge fan of this beer style. So. I'm probably going to get two of these while I'm here, and uh, yeah, but let's go straight into the aromas and see what we get. Okay, this is just amazing. I'm not just saying that. I'm really not just saying that. This is, it's when they describe orange and that sort of thing in the, in the descriptor on the little leaflet that you get with the beer. Um, I had no idea that I'd be picking up so much of it. It's 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 really it, I don't even know. I've been a brewer for about eight years, and I I don't even know how you extract so much aroma. I know that these guys do whirlpool editions, and they do lots of dry hopping. Um, but I, I did that with my batch, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't come anywhere near this. Just amazing, and to think that there's local hops in here, and I'm not, you know, dissing local hops. I've used local hops. I, I use them quite a bit, and I really like them, and I know a lot of local brewers do. Um, but uh, yeah, I just to have, you know, McKella and Devil's Peak bringing out a New England IPA with um, with local hops. Just super excited. 
Oh, it just smells so like perfectly balanced between watery, juicy, uh, everything you want. But yeah, let's go ahead and give it a taste and see what we think. Very excited. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, that is fantastic. Um, right off the bat, loving that. The thing about these kind of beers, it's all about that punch of aroma that hits you as you, as you smell it and before you put it in your mouth. And then it's that very drinkable with a nice mouthfeel. Um, yeah. But it goes down, I mean, dare I say, it goes down like water in that you could probably sit here and drink a bunch of these. It's, um, let me just check the ABV right quick. That's 6%. So yeah, it's a drinker, man. You could go crazy with this thing. Really, really drinkable. I like it a lot. Um, yeah. The fact that there's local hops in here. It's just amazing for me. That's exactly it's 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 made my day and what a fantastic brew. I wish I wish I could get my hands on the recipe. I wish uh, Devil's Peak and Michaela would be kind enough to drop me a, a DM or something like that. And I promise guys it would be a secret just between us, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, maybe drop me a line. That's a drinker. A uh, lovely beer and uh, kudos to the guys. Okay, let's go right into ratings because um, it's a fantastic beer and in terms of notes, um, everything I was expecting. Uh, so what would I give it rating wise? Look, I'm going to easily give this a four, a four out of five, um, which means fantastic beer. It's great, ticks all the boxes and it's really in my favorite style at the moment. Everybody's favorite style almost. Excuse me, is this New England uh, craze? keep bringing them guys and I'll keep drinking them uh, shout out Michaela and I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right if I'm not uh, I'll be sure to check out how that's pronounced in future <laughs> um, shout out Devil's Peak thanks so much for the drop guys I always really 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 appreciate it because it helps so much with my channel but not only that but also um, it just makes me feel you know if I feel appreciated I, today's drop with a little bag and the little plaque is like a postcard a wooden postcard that's so cool guys you guys are definitely leading the way in coolness factor uh, if that's a thing the way you market is is the bomb and keep it up guys and yeah i'm gonna enjoy this beer guys make sure you go out and get it it's at beer house riverside Bre uh, riverside uh, bottle store in bryanson has also got um, them for sale there but you better hurry because they run out and yeah guys make sure you get them and cheers